Hello, and welcome back to Planet Roboblad. Today, the second half of World 2, I suppose. But also, why not change some stickers around? Let's see. And for the record, you can only put stickers on the side. You cannot put them on the front or some such. But I believe someone wanted a number one. And, I don't know, this form of Kirby seems appropriate. He's, he's a number one. He's a winner. Look at him falling over like a winner. Anywho. Let's see what we have here. Why is that bus angry, Waddleby? So, so far... Well, I was about to say so far more of the same, but I, I guess... I guess part of a robot regime is extortion of the populace through casinos and gambling. So that's fun. I wouldn't have seen that coming. Alrighty then. Ah uh, yes, naturally, gambling is like a circus. I I don't like circus very much still. Ice I'll take though, which is even less related to gambling. Billiards isn't really gambling either, is it? Maybe people bet on it. I don't know. Strange sort of situation we've got going on here. I like the music though. It's very jaunty. I'm. I have no excuse for that one, I don't think. Ooh, mirror. I'll take that immediately over every other possible option. Mirror is still my favorite thing. Why is there even a gate there? What is the purpose? Especially since we can't go back. Oh well. Hey. Ah, uh, okay. Mirror is probably the only ability that can defeat things that are in the background. Now that I think about it. Is there anything under here? Can I... Nope, there's nothing there. Oh, so much for mirror, I guess. <laughs> ah, very good at playing video games. Oh, I see you there. I almost didn't. And now I am in the background. That's... that's Dr. Kirby, I guess. An interesting idea for a power. Oh my. Got some Tox Box action going on here. I think it's a little bit concerning. Just a little bit. But it looks like you can maybe fit in the pits on the dice. I don't know. I'm unsure. Hmm. Rare sticker, but as of yet, Ooh. I forgot what's what foreground, background, ground thing I was on. Uh, as of yet, none of the cubes have appeared. I mean, 
the code cubes. These are obviously also cubes, to be fair. I'm just gonna check a little bit around. I assume I just would have ended up in this foreground had I not gone into that one door. But, I guess there is nothing here. The dice are, the threat of them is a little bit diminished when you can just fly over everything. I mean, except for that guy. But he's not one of the dice, so my point still stands. Hmm. I... Is this going to ever... roll over in such a way where the pink portion is the one to hit the ground? Well, I'll know if I miss a cube, if I find one and it's not the first. So, here's a Game Boy. Okay. <laughs> so I'm controlling this little Robo Kirby in the background. Along with me. Ah, he can slide. I don't know how useful that information is. Wait, did that hurt me? I think it did, actually. Ah, there we go. He does need this slide button. And he can destroy enemies. Fair enough. I'm assuming he can also collect things, then. Probably. Oh, well, he's dead. Is this the first one? Yes. Okay, so I haven't missed anything. I'm always a little worried when the level goes on for a while without collecting anything. Um, and now for roulette, I guess. Yay? <laughs> I guess you're just supposed to survive. Because they don't seem to be destroyable. Oh, there's a cube there. Ah, okay. <coughs> I was afraid of that going away. Well, that happened, I suppose. Hello, giant death cube. You are only moving in two ways today. probably punch them to death in a second. You know what else I appreciate about the Robobot armor? It's not like Hypernova, where it overwrites the stage music. So I can still enjoy, well, the stage music. I'm gonna go with the sword that slices evil with the power of science. Perhaps I will not for a little bit. Whoop. <laughs> I almost overshot that. Alright. Back with the science. Ah. 
Okay. The other thing is this. Right. Just had to remember that. Hmm, excuse me. Hmm, I should test this out. Okay, you can't fit in a little pink hole. It looks like it wants you to. I mean, it's pink, and it's about Kirby-sized. It was a hole made for him. But I guess not. Oh, I see. The side you destroy them on matters. And, or rather, the side they land on. And the, the singular one is a, is a one-up. That makes sense. I can go over here with the robot armor. I don't know why I would. Ah, and now it's time for a mini-boss. I... I'm just gonna stick with the sword armor, thanks. Oh man. What is the... Okay, sure. You're not even really casino-related in any sort of way. Let me just remind myself of... That's what I thought. Alright. I wonder if I just got lucky there, or if you only need to hit it once. Aw. No mix robot for absorbing two powers? I don't know. I don't know why that would happen. I probably wouldn't want you to find out what other Robobot abilities exist. By chance. Because there isn't one for every copy ability. Now what have we got in terms of stickers? It's Kirby. Wow, amazing. It's Marks. Tool icon. The number zero. All right, Mark sticker is pretty neat, and that opens the boss as well as the extra stage. Got to do that extra stage. And then the boss after that. But first, first I wanted to blow my nose. Anyway, this extra stage looks like it has two cubes. So I'll have to be on the lookout. Hello, Canvas Curse music again. And immediate Robobot. That's kind of adorable in a silly way. And here we have... More Kirby music. Yes, I realize that's not very helpful. I was trying to think of what this was. I think this is just a remix that exists in... It's a remix of something. It's not the original. I'm pretty sure. Ah, 
Oh well, I am not a 100% Kirby expert, unfortunately. I hope not all of the extra stages end up being about punching trucks, because it's a little bit underwhelming, perhaps. At least I think the first one had punching trucks in it. My memory is remarkably poor sometimes. I assume I was meant to go into the robot version. I mean, why would I willingly get rid of having a giant robot? Let's punch a bus. I don't know why I feel compelled to do that, given that I also immediately feel bad for punching Waddle Dees, who are just driving. They haven't done anything wrong. Unless they're going over the speed limit, then all bets are off. Okay. This is from... This music is from freaking Kirby's Dream Course, isn't it? I can recognize the sound font more than anything. What the heck? <laughs> they just feel like referencing everything under the sun nowadays. I mean, Kirby's Dream Course is great. I just wouldn't have expected it. I think this is the music from like the tutorial menu where you can look at little clips of all the abilities and techniques. Or something? Well... I, I did not see that one coming. Is That's certain. I'm gonna keep Fist Robot. And get this carrot. Ooh, ow. <laughs> I guess I will be lesser Fist Robot. I need my revenge. I guess that cracks the screen when Robobot must be pretty heavy. And now for more Robot Kirby antics. This music I do not recognize at all. Going to, yeah, I'm gonna have to deal with one in the foreground now. I see. What purpose does this robot Kirby have for existing, I wonder? Is it to replace Kirby when the planet is inevitably conquered? They have to pretend everything is normal. Are we going to find Robot DDD? Well, probably. He's probably a boss fight somewhere. That should be fun. Oop. That was foolish. Yeah, I have invincibility frames during that jet stuff. Which is probably why they gave it to me. So I can attempt to not die. 
Ooh, ninja. Excelling in the art of covert combat, this ability contains various moves found in ancient documents from foreign lands. Science cannot explain this ability. This game is very insistent about whether or not science can explain something. I believe this is mostly identical. I'm not a huge fan of Ninja, but I wanted to see what the game had to say about it. I think I have invincibility during the dash at least. I'd rather have fire. But I guess that will not happen. Or I could just have nothing because I keep running into the giant shock orbs. Oh well. Sometimes, things are not meant to be. Poison, huh? That was not the correct button to press. I meant to consume. Anyway, as this is a bonus stage, The last thing will probably be just at the end of the stage in a chest. Dubior 2.0 because he can do clips and stuff. I don't remember where or what Dubior 1.0 was. This guy looks familiar, but I don't remember which Kirby game. Probably Return to Dreamland or Triple Deluxe or both. Spark. Hmm. I know UFO is in this game. So I was almost expecting that. But that would probably be a bit too much to hope for. And also this is the end of the level. So it would have been silly to put UFO there, because you probably can't take it between things, as per usual. And yeah, there's the other cube. Hopefully I can pick up something besides Spark for the boss, because I'm not a fan of that either. Ooh. Bad shot. I'm sorry, Kirby. It's Rick! Yeah, yay. Ringle. I didn't know that ability's... that enemy's name. There's Hal. Man. Are they ever gonna bring the animal friends back? Like, any of them. And have them actually used for something. Instead of just referenced. Why not? Let's give the fancy new thing. Uh, his hands don't glow when he's climbing, climbing the grate. Anyway. Animal friends, they should come back. They're cool. Especially Nago. Nago is the best one. There is a Nago sticker at some point, so this game is automatically great. Is this going to be a reference to Pix from Kirby 64? 
It looks like it. Maybe, potentially. Hollow Defense API. Oh, okay. The holographic security system that defends this area from intruders. It analyzes past battle data and produces one holographic security guard after another. Oh, so it's Adeline instead. Hollow Krakow, you have a... Hologram was created by analyzing the data of the cloud monster who is believed to inhabited the sky of this plane since ancient times. It excels at electrical attacks charged by the atmosphere. ESP seems like it was a good choice for this. You know, you could have just made this boss like the computer virus or something. Oh no, Spear Doomers. A hologram of monsters nested in another dimension. The original Doomers were red and blue. They love to eat energy spheres, which contain ancient technology. Guess I'll just have to PK flash him to death. What's next? Oh man, it's that thing, Ice Dragon. It's so cute. A hologram of a spectral dragon, an ancient life form that has lived through a number of ages. Most dragons breathe fire, but this blue dragon attacks with ice that it produces internally. I don't think this thing has ever been in 3D. Even if it is just a hologram, we can now appreciate how jiggly and wobbly it appears to be. And also it's tail is like a fan. I like it. What's your final hologram defense program? Oh, are you just going to fight me with your last strength yourself? Or... No, that is... Ah, uh, Coily Rattler. A hologram of the icon enshrined by people of the sky. Its weak spot is the data on its head. It was only a snake puppet full of powerful energy, but it used to be worshipped as a deity. Man. Hey, at least he won't take as long to kill as he did in Triple Deluxe. Haha. Uh -huh. And there's that ESP dodge. Ah, which does a burst attack on release. Well, there you go. You have a tiny bit left. Just like Adeline, except you can't just slide into it. I think Pix was the name of the boss that it looks kinda like. I could be reading too much into it. <coughs> it might just be 3D diamond shapes. But hey! Let's see what World 3 is. Overload Ocean. Okay. But that'll have to wait until next time. So until then, uh, bye, I guess. Thanks for watching.